Hello everyone, welcome back to Roll. The last two days we've seen two new high scores for me, and so I think it's time to break out of this five dice pattern and see if we can't improve our 16 dice game working with square number multipliers. So the very first thing to do is going to be getting two dice up to 97. So as ever, I will spare you that dull bit and then we will catch up after we're there. All right, as if just like that. A pair of 97s and a 7 up here just for extra measure. So now we are going to upgrade our shop. Zip through that. And then we'll take the time to buy the few faces that we have here. Upgrade some of the faces on that right hand die. Particularly to the number 7. So that's 3 and 4. And 5 and 2 will do it. Then we're going to reroll because we need that to get to our next shop refresh and upgrade ability. Then none of this is stuff I want and I think I'm going to just go straight on to the next shop. I'm not going to stop for anything here. Because we've got a lot of ground to cover if we're going to get to the 16 dice that we want. So then we're going to need another reroll. Don't want any of this stuff. Now what we're really looking for are six times one re-rollers up here. We also want to see if we can get some 50% lottery faces, 3x or 4x times for the 97s. And then after we've got that stuff, we will worry about getting towards our passives. These are not the things we want. So there's going to be a lot of re-rolling here. We're going to prioritize re-rolling for what we want on cheaper shops rather than spending ages building up what we have now and then causing things to be really expensive. Two X is okay, but we'd rather wait for a four X or better when we get there. So now we're at the beck and call of the random number generator, unfortunately. Locks are gonna become important later, but now is not the time. So it's gonna be another refresh. It's nice when we can get there in just one roll. There's six times re-rollers that we want. Gonna stick that. I think we're sticking it in the center die. Obviously it's gonna get us more value from this, but is that what we want to get to when we're multiplying our dies later? Yeah, with that other reason too right now. We'll get six re-rolls there. Then we'd still like a decent multiplier for one of the 97s, higher than the 2x that we're being offered. And any, at least one 50 times, 50% 50 chance of scoring 100 on Lotto die, we would like to see. There's a 4x, we'll take that. It's going to go on one of these. And there's six times two X rerolls here, but we're actually going to not take this because as I understand it now, this will cause the value of the shop refreshes to become significantly more expensive, which we currently want to avoid. 
So we'll give it one or two more refreshes looking for a cheap lotto die. And if we don't find it, we will go on to our next face. Uh, we can already afford another reroll, amazingly. Right, let's... Yeah, let's go to our next shop upgrade here. Now this is where we have to show some discipline and not just buy every amazing looking reroll that we find. Uh, sorry, passive that we find. There will be time for that to come later. So right now we're looking for void faces and shop reroll faces. We also want to place the shop reroll faces on the fourth die. And that's the one at the top that we've just added. And the void faces on the center die with the 99s. And we need to avoid looking at all the really shiny passives. There's only a couple we want specifically, such as no 99s reroll. So let's get shopping. That's a lotto adder. We want shop adders, not that. These are not the things we want. So more RNG to deal with now. There's one of those that we want. That's really good. So we're going to take that. And where are we going to put it? I'm going to put it over here. Right. These are great for value, but they're not the things that we need yet, and so we're not going to invest in them right now. We're going to keep looking for void faces. We're going to keep looking for shop reroll faces and no 99s reroll passives. It's just so tempting to look at this stuff and go, oh, I want all that. But no, we must not. We must show discipline. Right. So these are not the things we want. So we're just going to keep refreshing, keep refreshing. Whilst the refreshes are cheap. Sale is a big no for us today. Someday we will see the voids that we want. Shop refresh adder is one of the ones that we do want. Did I not click it? I definitely did. It's just 21k, which is more expensive than anything else we've seen up to now. that on the fourth die we're going to try and accumulate a lot of those and these guys are really good I think we can take this up to not having any because once we get over nine dice it just has no effect it doesn't break any of the system so we'll take that for now that'll be one of the few passives we allow ourselves but we're not seeing the stuff I want to see fast enough we need voids we need previous role uh shop role modifiers i 
Again, these are not the things we need. It hurts going by so much good stuff that we would typically have bought much sooner than now, but there is a void rewarding us for our patience. That's going to go on the center die with the 99s, 97s, excuse me. Now we just need a bunch more of those, please. don't think we want to invest in these yet because that's going to increase the reroll costs and we want the reroll costs to be low while we're hunting voids and shop refresh adders there's a void take another one of those thank you very much are not things that we want. We are still looking for no 99s reroll because that's going to help us when we lock stuff later. I'm paranoid I'm going to roll past stuff that I want. Shop refresh adder we want. Join your friend up here. There's another void. That's not the no 99s we want. Shop refreshes are getting a little more expensive than we would like them to be at this point, but there's not really much we can do about it right now. Take another 50% at 100 lottery while we have the chance for it. I'm at the stage where my paranoia that we've got too little too late going on, even though we're not even past the halfway mark yet. There's another shop refresh adder that's welcome to see. here. Now we're really just looking for 99, no 99's double reroll and another void, I think. But I will take another shop refresh adder up top. are not voids. There's another shop refresh adder. Just need that void now, please. It's 
It's the wrong no 99s bonus. don't think I need more of you, but I'm paranoid. I'll take one extra because it's going to do us no harm right now. Still not the things we're looking for. There's rigged machine. But again, we don't need it right now. That's a passive for another time. There's a void. Right, we take the void, we stick it there. And I think we're going to have to give up on finding the 99s re-roll here. The no, the no 99s re-rolled. I think we're just going to have to go to our next shop at this point. All right, scratch that. I made a mistake. The void we just bought should be on the left die with the 50% faces. So we need to find a move, a cell. Or we need to find an extra void. That's on me for not being well enough prepared. There's another shop refresh adder though. I'll take the time to buy it if I can. You live there now. So we're looking for the two arrows that let us move a face or another void. There we go. All right, that wasn't too much time wasted. And you live over here. Right, let's upgrade the shop again. get another die and now we're into the meat and potatoes there is a lot to do here and not very much time to do it so let me double check what our first priority is all right step one find a wild face which is the question mark and a 10x previous roll we need those first before we start cloning stuff with locks i think because we're going to want to make five of those to then teleport them over to other copies of that die. So let's look for those. That was fast. That's one of the two things we want. Oh boy, that was expensive. But it's fine. Right. I think this is going up on top with these so that we can clone all of this stuff together. I think that's the intent. So we're going to drop one of those for that. Then we need to find a wild. And now we can start to consider some of the other passives that we find as well. I'm going to continue to try and be slightly choosy. So remember, we're looking for a wild with the question mark. That's the thing that we really need. Then 
once we find it, we can lock that top die and then start worrying about everything else. But now I just feel like I'm in RNG City. Like, we would like to lock it now, but we can't because we don't have the wild on it. And without the wild, we're not going to pop off in all the ways that we need to, as far as I understand the strategy. Uh, no weights, triple reroll. I think is a perfectly adequate triple reroll. Expensive to get there, but we should have a bunch of free rerolls coming off the back of this. How expensive is this thing? Alright, I think I've screwed this up. Because, yeah, we're... We've burnt through way too many rolls now. I really, really screwed the pooch on this one. I guess this is why you want the triple rerolls to be cheaper in the previous shop rather than waiting to do it here where we haven't uh, upped our earning potential yet. Now let's find a wild, please. Well, this is 2.8 million, so maybe we needed to consider getting more passives to score more highly first. Because clearly, I haven't done things quite right to get to where we are right now. So, let's end this one. And what I will do is, we'll keep the video going, but I will pause until we're back in that mid-game in the way that we want it to be. So, here's a big jump cut for you. Alright, welcome back. It's been a small age of trying to get back to a good spot. And I'll show you what we've got going on. We have our four shop adders. We've got three voids and our 97s here. We've got a void and our lottos there. We also have factor 18 quantity multiplier and no 99s double reroll. So now it is time to upgrade our shop, except we're doing it about 400 rolls late. We spent so long looking for voids. So we upgrade our shop again. Then we don't want any of this stuff yet, I don't think. So we are going to reroll. And now we're looking for one of those. That's nice to get early. Except it's going to be real expensive without any of the other passives that we might want, isn't it? What was it, like 1.6 million? We need other passives to fund this bit. But the priority is the wild face going up here, and then a 10x previous roll multiplier. I think we want this as well, but it's not the priority. So we'll worry about the priority. I actually don't think we need extra voids right now. Ten X previous roll multiplier is what we want. Prime face increase wouldn't be the worst thing. There's the thing we want though, so again it's too expensive. So that now goes on here. And then we're going to lock it for 45,000. So I think we locked this die now. So now we want six times triple rerollers on everything, 10x face multipliers for the 99s. The 1% faces, combine the face multiplier passive, lottery passives, Yahtzee passives, reroll passives, and bonus passives. So, prime rerolls is not an ideal prior one to have. Add dice half quantity is not exactly what we want either. 
Yahtzee increase is not the Yahtzee bonus that we want. I don't think we actually want the top three right now either. 10x for our 97 we will take. But I think it's all just happening too late, which is a damn shame. There's another 10x here. We can put that on the other 97, I suppose. Slot machine, I think we want, but it doesn't add anything to our value right now, so I'm not going to worry about picking it up now. Hopefully it will appear later. These are now things that we don't need. No weights triple reroll. We currently have no 99s double reroll, so no weights triple reroll is an improvement. We want to lock one of these now, I think, and we have another lock available. Let me just triple check that we're doing that. Yep, we're going to lock another one of these then we're going to go up to the no weights triple reroll that we were aiming towards but again we're not going to get the cash that we need at the time that we need it to get this whole thing to pop off which is a shame because it's feel so heavily reliant on RNG right in that middle bit to get all this stuff going at the end is a tough time because there's no way with this number of rolls left we're going to be able to get to um 300 rolls to unlock more dice as we need them. We also need a heap of all of the sevens, which we've not seen any of yet. We need one of these guys. But again, that's really expensive as well. Uh, where is this going? For now, you can live here. Non-standard multiples we want, but we're not going to be able to afford right now for what we've got going on. There's our first one of those. don't even have anything locked yet. I probably skipped over a lock because I'm bad. We don't have combined face multipliers yet. There's passive hunter, which we kind of don't need at this point. And it's a lot of money to spend just to get even more rerolls. We want perfect square die. That's going to be important for later again, but we can worry about a lot of this stuff when we've got the rest of our priorities sorted but I don't think we're going to get there without much better RNG because this is nowhere near enough rolls to get the end of this whole strategy working which is frustrating because you know there's going to be an incredible run in there somewhere it's just going to be a case of creating it out of thin air 
with locks and lottery faces and voids and RNG. We've got back some of our earning power now. But it's too little too late. But there's definitely a huge run to be had here somewhere. And one day we'll get the perfect dream run to find it. But we've seen one all the sevens this whole time. So I think it's not going to be the one today. So I will do some refinement, see what I'm doing wrong in the middle game when it gets really expensive or whether I'm just getting unlucky with how this whole thing needs to be built up. But we can get those kind of like E25, E28 scores with this just need it to work and that's the frustrating part but i will say to you guys thank you so much for joining me if you're enjoying the series please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button if you have any questions or comments you can put them down below otherwise i will see you in the next one cheers <laughs>